Now, before I put some coolant in there, just make sure that you have put the plug back in. Nothing's worse than the coolant draining straight back out. Okay, now initially I'm just going to fill this up just with straight water, mainly because I just want to flush the cooling system um, once it's been running for a little bit. If you've got a particularly good cooling system or you know the history of the car, um, you might feel comfortable just to put coolant straight in here. But um, I'm just going to go and just do water first. I did find that an irritatingly slow fill. It's quite a small uh, filler neck. I put about six litres in, which is, I don't know, one and a half gallons initially. It's going to need more. Um, that's not necessarily the capacity, but look, that's got it started. So time now to put this battery back in. Um, now I've had the battery charging for the last probably 24 hours, just because I like a fully charged battery when we kick back into this. And we'll clamp it down. Seeming like the hardest part of the job to line those clamps up. Okay, let's just zip these up. Now we'll do our positive first. Um, look, and I've got some extra wiring on here that um, I'm going to play around with later, um, but that's not today. I'll just tighten this one down. Hey, so next thing is I want to put a bit of oil in this. Um, I still don't have the plugs in because once I've got some oil in there, I'm going to crank it over a little bit just to get some oil pressure happening. Um, and then we'll put the spark plugs in, coils in and start it up. And I was just about to put my oil cap on, but hey, it's something that I haven't yet cleaned. So we'll clean that up. Okay, a minute or so later, we have cleaned that up. Set that on. Hey, so now with some oil in it, we're just gonna crank it over. Um, I just wanna get some oil pressure running through it before we actually try and start it up. Okay, so with that, I've now got my oil pressure light going off. Let me show you inside. Um, and a good time too to check that you're not leaking any fuel. Um, so everything's there, it's good. You could have these fuel injectors disconnected if you want, but hey, if it's pumping a bit of fuel in, um, that's not gonna cause me an issue just yet. Okay, watching this from the inside. Um, let's just put our lights on there so you can see a bit better. Okay, so we've got um, obviously the engine light, the battery light and the oil light. Um, they don't always all stay on. A lot of things just go through a check and then go off. Um, but let's wind it over and see what happens with that oil light. And with that oil light going off, once it's cranking over, um, I'm now super happy to put the coils back in and start this up. So mine had relatively new spark plugs, so I'm just happy to reuse those. I'm gonna carefully drop them down. Just go through and tighten these up. Okay, we'll now put these coils back in place. Um, you could have cranked it over with the spark plugs in and just the coils disconnected, but it just cranks over so much faster when it doesn't have compression. So 
put all these in. Okay, now I am keeping some water handy because we will need to top this up as we start it up. Um, look, when I first started up, look, you may get a little bit of smoke coming off from some of the parts that are heating up. Um, it may run rough for a little while till it refines and idle, things like that. But um, look, it should fire up pretty quickly. And um, yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah, I did just watch a little bit of that splurt out as um, it started up, but at the moment everything's ticking over nicely. Let's bring in nice and close. I'm obviously checking for leaks, um, squeaks, concerns, rattles, clunks. I haven't revved it at all yet. A little in there. Just top up this water. I'll just throw a cap on here for now so it doesn't make any mess. So I'm not sure if the camera's starting to pick that up, but we're starting to get a bit of uh, smoke and heat coming off the engine, just the first time it heats back up. Definitely can smell that coming off. I'll just give it a bit of a rev, we'll hold those revs up a bit. Okay, now that it's been running, there's just a couple other things I've done. I've just put the rest of this intake on. I put my uh, coolant bottle in here, but as soon as I bolted it in, I found something. You may remember I wrote myself a little note earlier about an engine mount bolt. Well, we did find the bolt, um, so now we can fit that back in. Okay, and there's one or two other things. Um, Retighten this back up because we loosened these aircon pipes and this um, relay fuse box here, we'll tighten that back up. Um, I've put a couple of new clips in here. I've ordered a new clip for here because they always bother me when they're broken. Hey, now we're pretty well at the end of this process. Um, what I am gonna do now is we'll start it up. Um, I want the car to heat right up and I wanna see that those thermo fans kick in, uh, cool it down a little bit and then turn off. So as long as they're cycling, um, I will flush out the coolant, make sure that your heater has heat when it's um, running as well, just to make sure that there's no air trapped in the system. I'll also give it an oil change pretty soon after we just start driving it, just to uh, make sure that it's as fresh as possible in there because it was pretty sludgy. Hey, look, if you've watched this far, I do appreciate it. Make sure you subscribe, thumbs up, share the video, whatever you need to do. Any comments, questions, concerns, um, write them down below. Hey, and again, check out some other videos. Thanks for watching. And uh, it's a bye for now.